Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate it very much. Little Chingon here. He's in a really uh, good mood, I guess. He's about to uh, take a bath right now. Say hi, guys. Not bye. Say hi. Junior says hi. We're going to be doing shave today with uh, Star Odyssey from First Line Shave. As promised. Ever since I've gotten this soap, I couldn't, I could not stop smelling it. I smell it every day because it smells awesome. And that's the truth. This is inspired by uh, Versace Eros, which is a popular cologne. And I can't wait to use this. Beautiful labeling. Beautiful uh, waterproof label, as you can see that. Very beautiful and shiny. And uh, very nice looking. The artwork is beautiful as well. First line shave. Michael Riley, and uh, part of the proceeds go to his charity, Backstoppers.org. Make sure you check that out in the description down below. Great charity for uh, first responders that have fallen on the line of duty. Awesome, by Michael Riley. This is called Star Odyssey once again. Beautiful background there, and, and like a moon setting, and uh, I believe that's a like a astronaut or something like that and uh, the stars very beautiful again very beautiful packaging very nice uh the sti the the logo the the sticker that goes on top of the lid top top of the lid of the soap it fits perfectly if you guys can see that there's like almost it fits on the edge beautiful and that's great packaging for michael and uh i don't know if you guys noticed on his latest soaps but his his labels are really really nice Real beautiful. Just the quality of the label. It shines. And like I mentioned, they're waterproof labels. Really shiny and high quality labels. Great artwork as well. <laughs> Once again. For Star Odyssey from First Line Shave. My Michael Riley. Can't wait to use that right now. I'm going to get his bath started. and uh, I'm going to get his bath started. And do the shave. I got about a week's growth on the face and I can't wait to take that off. But the scent notes for uh, Star Odyssey, like I mentioned, the scent's inspired by the fragrance Eros by Versace. No affliction. <laughs> Junior saying, sending his love. Tom notes of green apple, lemon, and mint. Heart notes of Ambraxan, geranium, and tonka. Base notes of cedar, oak moss, vetter, and vanilla. And I can tell you this when I smell it off the tub. You like it, Humble Pie? It smells good. I like the scent very much. I could smell cologne type from the scent here. And this week, I went to a uh, department store just to match the, uh, the, 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 uh, the scent from the soap here. And I can tell you that's very close to Versace Euros. I can tell you that because I went over there and I just wanted to compare the scent to see how close it was. And it's very, very similar. I can tell you that. Dad, it smells just... great cologne type scent for me, which I love very much. You guys know that I love cologne type scents. <sighs> yeah. You like Star Odyssey, huh, Papa? <laughs> I like, I love Star Odyssey. I, I can tell you this, guys. This is the scent where I, it, when I would go run out from the uh, soap itself and the aftershave, I would definitely pick up another because this scent's great. Let me put my kid, my baby, my, my one-year-old son, in the bath, and I'm gonna start the shave. So stay tuned. Hi, fellas. I'm back. It's quiet. My son's in, asleep. I gave him a bath, and I changed him, and I gave him his bottle, and I was watching TV while he drank his bottle, and he fell asleep, so I'm back. So it's going to be quiet. I tried to do the, the video with him in the bathtub, but it just was too loud because he likes to play a lot in the tub, and he's excited. 
with his toys and everything in the water and he splashes and it just makes a lot of noise so I was like oh we'd rather wait until I, he's done with the, the bath <laughs> so I'm here now forgot to mention about the label here Star Odyssey awesome but I would like to mention that the, the designer of the label here I mean of the artwork on the label you can uh, follow him at at Digital Theory Design on Instagram and he goes by the name of Anthony Gen Gennardi Gennardi I hope I said that right by, by Anthony Gennardi at Digital Theory Design and of course Rafa always helps out and he, he needed the post-production help for, uh, for it. Awesome. I tried to grab the best brush that I have in my den to match the label, the color of the label here. And this is the best that I could do. So hopefully that matches very well. I always like to uh, color coordinate my, brush, uh, my brushes with the labels. But this is a Milton Turning Shade Brush Custom N7 design. And it has a uh, quarter moon knot, 25 millimeter synthetic knot on there. And uh, it's black, of course, on the top. M7 design. And the bottom is uh, translucent gray. If you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can catch that. Translucent gray there. This is before uh, Milton put uh, his coins on the bottom of the brushes, but this is a custom turn and shape brush from Milton. Thank you, brother, very much. If you get to see this, <sighs> brand new label, I mean, brand new soap, virgin puck. And I can't wait to use this. Let's start to shave the lather. When am I not here? It's a synthetic, so I don't have to soak it. Just just wet in, it's good to go. Let's start the loading from the tub. Sometimes I forget to mention the uh, consistency of the soap itself in my videos because I'm so happy to be using the soap itself that I forget, I tend to forget some things at times. But here I'm pressing it and it's, uh, it's a firm soap. If you press it very hard, you can make it in it, in it, in it, a dent in it. Well, this is Michael Riley's uh, 3.0 base, which is amazing. An elite soap, in my opinion. I love this soap base. With the synthetic, you don't really need to load a lot. And, uh, whenever I use a synthetic, I uh, use it, I, I, uh, Lather it maybe a couple seconds and lather it maybe eight to ten seconds. And uh, let's start the uh, the lather. Here we go. Star Odyssey for, uh, from First Line Shade Michael Riley. Since sentence is inspired by uh, Versace Eros. Cologne type scent. Let's start the lather. Smells great, I'm telling you. It was a beautiful scent. When I did my mail call, this was the first one that I opened, and uh, I could tell you that I fell in love with the scent. Just smelling it a couple of times. Remember to wet my brush here because the uh, lather is pasty. Great soap base from Michael. I enjoy this base very much. It's my favorite currently in the den right now. I'm a big fan of Michael Riley's soaps and everything that he does. See that beautiful, beautiful soap, thick soap. It's 
3.0 can take water guys so don't be afraid to put water as you go always remember a little bit goes a long way great peaks look at that I got a very thick, 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 creamy lather on the face right now. Let me add more water to my brush. Not nah. very shiny, very glossy lather. Looks very luxurious in my opinion. Can't wait to take this growth out. One more time, water. Just to smooth this out. Hope everyone's doing great. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the beautiful comments on my last video. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys stopping by and watching that video. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you very much for your support. Kind words, loyalty to my channel. You guys are awesome. We're awesome. I got plenty of lather there that night. My knots caked with leather. I got a thick leather on the face. So I'm going to be shaving with my uh, Joe Edison razor. Beautiful razor. This is a new uh, addition to my den. Second time using it. And I'll tell you a little bit about it uh, once I get this uh, shave started. Or probably towards the end of the uh, video. Let's uh, start the shave. We we'll start Odyssey from First Line Shape. God bless you all. Thank you for watching once again. One week's growth on the face, ready to come out. See, so you guys can see with just with that little swipe there. There's lather. I mean, hair in that lather. I found this soap to be very, very nourishing to the face. <sighs> Look at that density of that soap, guys. <laughs> I love first line shape. Amazing soap. And it smells amazing. It smells very beautiful. Cologne type, type scented soap. The soap is very well blended in my opinion. So I can't really tell you what I get, what, 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 what most note I get from it. But I can tell you that it smells like a luxury cologne. Beautiful cologne. That feels awesome. You can take all that growth off. And the razor's doing it with ease. Once again, that's hair right there. One week's growth. Real happy to be taking it off. About time. This is a French point, so you can see the French point right there. Right there. Gotta be careful with that. It's good. Cut you if you're not very careful. But I found this razor to be very maneuverable. You can control it really easy while holding it. And it feels great in the hand. Very, very much so residual slickness on the skin. The razor just glides with these, just with a little bit of uh, residual left over there. And 
left hand. Left side of my face. Well, it feels amazing. Very smooth. Very enjoyable straight razor shaving. You gotta try it, guys. Please try it. You won't know unless you try it. Look at that. It's cutting. Beautiful. Joe Edison makes uh, a very unique razor, as you can see. This razor is beautiful in my opinion. Just from the way that it looks, to the scales, this is a monkey tail right here. And this is a uh, 7 8 Very, very slick. Once again, very creamy lather, very dense. It's just beautiful all around. Michael makes an amazing soap. If you haven't tried First Line Shave, I highly recommend you do. Top tier soap here. Everything you want a soap to be. And more. Effortlessly shaves the razor. Beautiful. I'm enjoying this razor very much. Second shave with it. I need to shave more with it. Let me get a rinse off. Feels amazing. Very slick. That took all that growth off. That razor shaves beautiful, as you can see. Chingon. Very slick too, so make sure you dry your hands very well. You don't want to drop your equipment. Give me a second, guys. Oh, I wanted to mention uh, the razor here. Okay, this is a uh, certificate of intensity which means is a, uh, a piece of paper that means that the razor is legit from the uh, artisan. And uh, like I mentioned, the razor is a Joe Edison razor. Let me put it down in the description if you guys are interested in his razors. Real, really beautiful razors with unique scales. You'll be seeing that when I put the description down below the link so you guys can check that out. And please look at his razors. You would see what I'm talking about. The style of the razor here is a straight edge Sanmai. The razor steel is a 410 SS class Hitachi blade 2 core Sanmai. It has a size of a 7 8 blade, cut an edge of 2.9. The weight of the razor is 2.5 ounces. And the material scales, what you're going to see here, are very beautiful. Hope you guys can see the beautifulness, the uniqueness of the, uh, the, 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 the way it looks, just the scales. Truly beautiful. Has like a reddish white color on the top, and it goes down to like a uh, a wood color, and it goes down. And it looks greenish, and a little bit of grays. Actually, there's a lot of gray in the uh, in the blade here, but it, it goes from red, white, reddish, reddish red, white, woodish color here, gray, and then uh, 
like a, a light brown, black brown on the bottom here. Very beautiful. Very beautiful uh, color of the uh, scales here. And the scales are a burl and red white resin on brown G10 layers with brown and white G10 wedge, which is the wedge right there. And I don't know if you guys can see the metal here. Let me wipe my blade. But the, the, the metal here has different layers of metal. Hope you guys can see that. It's very beautiful. Real beautiful razor. You can see the different colors as well here. From the wet, I mean from the, uh, the tip of the razor on the front here where it goes down. It's like gray and in the middle is a different layer of metal and then on the side as well. Hope you guys can see that. It goes all the way down. It's better looking right here on the back. Beautiful, beautiful razor. And it has gold pins on it. And that's his stamp there. Joe Edis. I lo love this razor very much. That's what the face because my face dried up while I was talking about the razor. But uh, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. That's my new addition to my Dune. Newer straight, newest, newest straight razor in the day. Let's start the ladder part, uh, pass two. Which I got enough ladder here for pass two. Smells great. Scent strength off the soap, I forgot to mention. It's a medium strong scented soap. I would say about a seven and a half. Oh, I put too much water in the mouth. Let me shake the brush out. Oh, uh, yeah. About a seven and a half. Sense drink. So it's medium strong, which is awesome. I love me a strong scented soap. And this definitely picks up more when you lather on the face. And the scent is still strong. Which is awesome. I love strong scented soaps. This is a mid strong. Beautiful, beautiful cologne scented soap. Got some more water to this. It's a little bit more, like I was mentioning, a little bit goes a long way. But don't be afraid to uh, add a little bit as you go. This soap can take it. The soap base can take it. As you can see, it's not breaking down. It's not dissipating. Truly an amazing soap here. Michael Riley makes an amazing soap. Make sure you pick some up from his website. I apologize, the soap is not available. I looked before I did this video and the soap is sold out and sold out, but the aftershave is available if you're interested and the EDT. The EDP, I mean. But I best believe that Michael will make more. Pass two against the grain. Very, very smooth edge. See that creaminess there.
And the uh, audio feedback on the Razer is probably uh, not catching as much because I do got a fan in the back. It's very hot in here. I needed it. I tried to do the shave without a fan. I just couldn't do it. I needed the fan. It's very hot. Hope I didn't kill myself down. Felt like I did. Beautiful, beautiful shaver. Beautiful soap too. Amazing. Feel here. That's a baby but smooth shave. But I did miss a spot here. I'm gonna go over it right now. Oh yeah, much better. Beautiful. That was an excellent shave. And I truly enjoyed that. Why? Because I used an amazing soap with a beautiful scented scent. And just the, the razor just provided an awesome shave. My base, my face is baby, but smooth. I don't see no whiskers on there whatsoever. That was an excellent chingon shave. <laughs> Amen for that. Truly a beautiful fragrance here from First Line Shave. Hopefully Michael doesn't uh, stop producing this one here because this one's a hit in my opinion. It's a winner in my book. Always pat dry your face. Don't rub it with the towel because you would get more irritation if you rub it. Always pat it. That feels awesome. <laughs> Very thick towel from uh, Lancaster. Make sure you guys grab one when you guys see one that's available. If you guys are subscribed to uh, Lancaster, uh, you will get a notification. Star of the party was Star Odyssey from First Line Shave. And this is a, uh, a homage and inspiration sent from Versace Eros. Beautiful scented soap. Cologne type. If you guys are into cologne types, this is one not to miss. I'm telling you, this scent's beautiful. What a weeper there. Beautiful scented soap. Thank you, Michael. Like I was explaining, guys, this is very similar to the real Versace Eros. And uh, Michael did a great job on uh, blending the scent, putting it together. It matches, I can tell you because I'm, I smelled both of them. Very, very close, very similar. That was my shave, thank you for joining me. My blade here, my uh, Joe Edison razor. Appreciate this razor very much. It shaves like a dream.
beautiful, beautiful. I can't say enough great things about this razor here. It fits very well in the hand, very maneuverable, like I was explaining earlier in my video. And just the edge is very sharp and smooth. I didn't get a lot of weepers today, just a couple. But overall, amazing shave. Use my uh, turning shave custom here, M7 design with the black top, translucent gray with a uh, 20, 25 millimeter uh, quarter moon synthetic tuxedo knot on there. Performed a great lather, performed well the knot. Displays very easy, very soft knot. And to top it off, of course, the aftershave here. I appreciate the color design from the uh, awesome labels that Michael produces for his aftershaves. It's just a beautiful thing to see and it matches the labels and it just matches the whole set. Very beautiful. It matches the color of the of bottle. Beautiful. Keep it up, Michael. Keep doing a great job that you're doing. You're, you're amazing, brother, and everything that you do is awesome. I appreciate you very much for what you do and uh, bless you out there when you're out there in the beat. Thank you, brother, for bringing this beautiful product. Come alive, and I don't, don't, don't stop making this one. This one's a winner for me, and I'm sure those that pick it up truly think so, think so as well. <laughs> let's shake the, let's shake up the aftershave here, and this is the uh, the newer aftershave as well. Greatest skin ingredients, guys. I'll be putting down the the, the post ingredients down below as well for this new aftershave here. He, he updated his uh, his aftershave ingredients and I can tell you it's a beautiful thing when you put it on the face. The post shave on this is amazing. It leaves your face very soft and smooth. Luxury feeling like you know like super soft and moisturizing. Very soft is what I get when I use this. Great job, Michael. Great job. Your your soap base is on. It's it's outstanding. In the in the aftershave is right behind it. Cheers, my brothers. Can't wait to smell this thing. Fragrance on my uh, skin. Beautiful, beautiful scented. It's right there with the aftershave. Nice and scented, and it feels great on the face. That was a beautiful shave. Thank you, Michael, very much for these awesome products. Thank you guys for joining me for the shave. I really appreciate it. It truly means a lot to me, guys, that you stop by and watch my uh, my channel and my videos. Thank you for the support and the love that you guys give me. God bless you guys, my brothers. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for the shave. Have a blessed Friday evening. Have a great weekend. God bless you all. Take care and see you next time on the next shave. Chingon, signing out. God bless you guys. Take care. Thanks for the love. Much love and respect. Always.